Did I lose? I can feel nothing. You really are strong. For real. You lie. You were holding back, weren't you? I never stood a chance. It wasn't even a battle. You obliterated me. You are just too strong. What's up everyone, Sag here, and damn, that intro, man. Starting off with the strongest character of all time into one of the strongest t possible teams in Super Auto Pets. It's gonna make me watch One Punch Man for the 15th time. But anyways, today we have the one of the strongest possible teams you can ever get in Super Auto Pets. Now, realistically, this is pretty unlikely to happen in Arena because you need so many level 3s. However, we do our best here uh, to get one of the strongest possible teams, and it's honestly really exciting. I tried really, really hard to get everything to level 3, but sometimes it just don't happen. So, we skip the first couple of rounds because, eh, they don't really matter too much. As we all know, if we're gonna go chicken those first couple of rounds, honestly, nothing happens in them. All I'm doing is collecting tier 1 units. So, the only way to get a team of this caliber is to run chicken, lioness, or any other shop scaling. Uh, which is pretty per usual around these parts. And today, it is no different. Um... However, I am using my greed pack, so as you know, we are going to be looking for very, very specific pets, namely goldfish, badger, dog, and chicken. I guess hamster, hamster is pretty good as well. Um, so I've recently added badger to my list of pets that are really, really good to get, uh, to get when going for a 50-50 shop because you get to tie just a few more rounds, and honestly, that matters quite a bit. So, we find an early badger, which is really good. I don't think that we ever find a dog, which means uh, th that'll be a no-go for us. However, I don't think it matters too much. Badger might be slightly more important, um, but the even more important uh, pet would definitely be goldfish. Goldfish provides so much extra value. It's honestly um, mandatory when doing any types of these runs. So... We're on turn 7 here, and honestly, I don't get, like, crazy chicken luck early. You, you'd expect me to get, like, double chicken on turn 7, and boy, I wish I did. But sometimes that does not happen, so we're actually going to be going a little bit later with this. And I think I'm okay with that, as long as we got the badger, getting some more ties is what's really important here. And if you have noticed already, this is before the update. So I've been sitting on this video for a little bit now, um, just waiting for the right time to really upload it. You know, you have stuff like the weekly pack come out. You, you always want to, to upload a video about that weekly within the week uh, or else it becomes like, you know, basically useless. It, it doesn't matter anymore. If the week's over, you know, what are you going to do about it? So... Been sitting on it for a little bit now, and man, I just look at it and it looks so clean. All the the levels, the the font, everything about it. Mm, the nostalgia already, even though the update's only been like uh, a few days old. Uh, this I just prefer it so much more this way. So there, we actually pill our eagle on turn nine to get a lioness, which is pretty nice. And unfortunately, uh, to move these stats onto the chicken, I have to forego those two tier ones and the goat. Uh, but that's okay. We find another chicken and a tier one almost immediately. So I'm pretty excited. We just need to find this pill now. We can get an easy level two chicken. And I would say that we're pretty decent here on turn nine, especially two wins and two lives left. That is probably one of the most important things is having multiple lives left. You really, really want to have at least one life um, remaining, like one life being able to lose. Because when you get up into those those high rounds, you know, turn 16, 17, 18, you could face literally any team. And honestly, you have to be prepared to lose. So it is very, very important to have at least, you know, four, five, six hearts. If you've got seven, that's even better. Um, 
and there we actually did not find the pill and I'd say it's too late for the blob here. We're just going to start buy selling tier ones. We did find the level two chicken. So blob is going to exit the building pretty quickly and we're going to keep the the badger. I still think that it's good enough to go with. I mean, as you can see here, we are, we are still getting ties. It is turn 11. We have two wins. That's exactly what I want to see. And keep buy selling those tier ones. We have old Marmoset here. So, <laughs> it, I mean, it still works uh, with, with the way that I want it to. If, if there was tier ones on board, I would just freeze them anyways. And here, I'm actually going to buy sell this Tamron. We're going to get a huge Badger here, a huge level 2 Badger. I'm actually going to buy that Lioness, which doesn't really matter either way. If I bought the Lioness or the Marmoset, I'm getting 2-2. Two, two. And this way, I can at least um, have a decent unit for next turn. Either sell the Lioness or combine them. So either way, it's pretty fine to buy Lioness there. Now, if I had more gold, then of course I wouldn't buy it. I would just keep buy selling tier ones. And there I can buy sell the first two units for free because goldfish is a level two, reduces the gold by two, which means they only cost one gold. So I like to do that is um, it's more of a good habit to have. You always have to remember that when you have a level two goldfish, those units are free. So I buy sell them every time. Um, I'd really like to not forget, like say if you have a chinchilla or something, then you actually get a gold back. Same with pig. So it's important to remember things like that when you're, um, it's a, it's a lot of little things, a lot of really, really little things that you have to keep in mind to make sure that you are making like the most optimal plays, I would say. And here we go for a 50, 50 badger, just something to make sure that I do not lose. Like this is basically securing. I will not lose the game. Having a level two 50, 50 badger. Yeah, it's going to be really, really hard to lose with that. Like at the very least, I will tie no matter what. And this, this is my saving grace. Now turn 14 is a bit late. However, getting a level two alpaca here is exactly what I want to see. Now, Honestly, buying a white tiger here is probably not the way to go. And selling the chicken was even a little bit more odd. However, I do find another lioness there. And they can round out my 50-50 shop. I'm actually not going to get a 50-50 shop either. It'll be really close. But all I need, as you can see, is my leopards to be at 50-50. That's, That's all that matters to me. Plus, also... Um, I'm going to combine them into level three. So even if they were like, say, a 47, 47, um, then they would still get to 50, 50 by the time I got them to level three. So here we can probably get rid of the uh, lionesses and don't need them anymore. Everything's 50, 50. And every turn we are just going to keep buying more leopards and trying to get uh, them to level three as quickly as possible. Because as you can see, we're on turn 15 with six wins, which means we have about four turns left to go, including this one. Um, and, you know, when you just roll infinitely, you don't always find what you want. As, as much as I would love to, to find every single leopard in the game, it doesn't happen. And one bad thing about Alpaca is when Alpaca is your final unit, you actually can't continue buying more because Alpaca is summon not buy so that's a little unfortunate however i would say it still works out extremely well in this case maybe with the new crow we might be able to do something a bit crazier because you can get to the level three crow and then when you when you sell it you get a uh, chocolate a big chocolate that gives you plus three experience instantly taking a level two unit to level three Either that or we should have a level three alpaca. So when we do play a unit, it gets to level two and one third. So that might be uh, a really important thing as well. However, we do just run it like this. And I would say that we are still going like absolutely nuclear with this team. So we've got two level three leopards. We're about to have a level three tiger and then another level two leopard. Yeah, pretty insane. And honestly, after we buy this leopard here, alpaca actually won't do anything for us anymore. We can't buy, sell any more things. So we might as well get this hamster in here for a few extra rolls this turn and next turn. Super important, actually, as we're coming in here to turn 17. There's no possible way any team really beats us unless they had like 
you know, the same exact team or like a full coconut swordfish or tiger, tiger swordfish. Yeah, it's going to be really, really hard to beat this team in any possible way. And here we finally max it out exactly how I want it. Three level threes and two level twos. We're doing an insane amount of damage. And that that team stands no chance. It's like I was barely even trying. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Look at that. Doesn't even get through my first leopard. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.